Hello everyone. Now we will start with a new topic and our new topic is how to add a report variant to the transport request. Whenever we are creating a report variant at that time system will not ask for the transport request. If customer is saying yes, I bought this variant in the quality and production system. At that time, we will follow some steps. We will follow some process to add that report variant into the transport request. Anyways, we'll cover that particular steps or process. If you do not have the knowledge, what is report variant? How to create a report variant? You can simply, simply refer the playlist of a BAP programming part two. There I explained how to create a report variant. Suppose I will go for a report. You can take any report. It is totally, totally your wish. Suppose I will take this particular report. I am running this particular report. Suppose I am giving the input. 1 to 10 and maximum time I'm always always giving this particular input so rather than passing the input again and again you can simply simply save this input as a variant suppose I will simply click on to the save button save as variant I will give some name to the variant suppose I am saying where one and I am giving some description. I will go for save. And you can see we have a button here now get variant. Previously this button was not there. Now into this get variant I have the variant where. Suppose now I am running the program again suppose. Suppose I am running this program. Now, next time, there's no need to pass the input again. You can simply, simply take from the variant. Well, now you can see when I'm selecting the variant, it is 1 to 10. Have you seen when I created the variant, system has not prompted for the transport request. Now, suppose if customer is saying, I bought this variant, I bought this report variant, in the quality and production system. Then at that time, I need to save this variant into the transport request because you all know how you can transport a object or how the object will be in quality and production with the help of transport request only. Suppose I'm creating one more variant. Suppose customer is saying, I'm going for order number one to five also. Suppose I'm saving. Now I'm giving the suppose variant name one to two. I'm giving the description. Suppose order number one to five. I'm saving this variant. System is not asking for the transport request. Nothing. It means these variants are into this, into this particular system only. Suppose if I will click here. Now we have two variants. Now what customer is saying, I bought these variants in the quality and production system. Then how, how you can transport or how you can, sorry, how you can save this or how you can add these variants to the transport request. Now we will learn that process. And many times in the project, especially in background jobs, in background jobs, variant plays a vital role. Then customer asks that I bought these variants in the quality and production system. Suppose now we will follow the steps. What is first step? Run the standard program RS trans P. It is very, very easy to remember. You can simply, simply remember this is transport. Report, selection, transport. You all know selection means what? Input, input. Ultimately, your variant has the inputs. Your variant, your variant has the inputs which you are giving. This is the input 1 to 10. 
This is the input one to five. So it is very easy to remember the program name report selection transport. So I will simply, simply go for SC38 transaction code and pass this program name. I will go to SC38 transaction code and this is the SAP standard program. I will simply execute this particular report. Now, now it is asking the program name and variant name. Now pass the program for which program you want to go for the variants. So this is our program. I'll simply copy. We want to transport the variants of which particular program. This is the program. Now it is totally your wish. You want to pass the variants here or you want to go for all the variants. Suppose for this particular report, we have two variants, variant one and variant two. You want both the variants to be to be added to the transport request. Then you can simply, simply go for execute. It will show you both the variants. You can add it to transport request. If you want to go for dedicated variants only, you can pass those variants. Suppose I want to go for variant one. Only. So I will go for execute. You can see we have the report name and this is the variant name. Suppose you are not passing the variant name. So it will show you both the variants. If I will go for execute, you can see we are getting both the variants. So here also you have the option. If you are deselecting, if you do not want the second variant, you can simply, simply deselect also. Suppose I want to go for both. I will go for continue. Now you can see system is asking for the request, workbench request. It is totally your wish. You are creating a workbench request through SC09 transaction code and you are using here. It is totally your wish. Or you can create from here also. If you want to use the existing transport request, you can use that also. It is totally your wish. Suppose I am creating a new transport request. Ultimately, it will navigate me to SC09 only. Suppose I am saying transport request for variants. I will go for save. So system generated the new transport request. I will go for OK. So now in that transport request, SAP added both the variants. I got a message. Now if I will show you the transport request through SC09, you can see if I will display, if I will go for expanding of this request, expanding of this subtask, you can see description itself is meaningful. Report, program, application, variant, and I have both the variants. I can simply release this particular transport request and this particular variants will go to the quality and then it will go to the production system. Now, most, most important point, and I saw people do these kinds of mistakes. They save their program as local and they save their variants and they want to save their variants in that transport request. Just simple understanding. If your program is a local object, how you can go for variants or how you can transport the variants of a program to the quality and production system. It is never, never possible. And this is the most common mistake, especially beginners do, yes. So your program should also, also be in a transport request, I'll say in a package. Now, after that only, you can simply, simply move the variants. Suppose simple, if your program is local, and how, how you can save your variants into the transport request, because ultimately variants, if your program is not in the quality and production, if program is not going to in the quality and production, how you can go for the variants of that particular program to go to quality and production. So please take care for this particular point. Now, if I will read the theory part, what we did, firstly, we run this particular program. Yes, we pass the report name. After running this particular program, 
we pass the report name. Now it is totally your wish. If you are passing the variant name, it will go for that variant. If you will simply, simply execute, it will show you all the variants. So one pop-up appears for the selection of the variants and we click on to the OK button. Now after that one pop-up window appear to pass the transport request, we pass the transport request and click on to the OK button. Now this is one way. Sometimes people are not remembering the program name. Then you have other way also. Anyways, it will navigate to this program only. So what is other way? You can simply, simply go to SC38 transaction. Many times people follow this process also. You can go to SC38, pass the name of your program. Now for this program, we have two variants, where one and where two. Click on to this button, variants. Now, now simply, simply, you have a button here, utilities, transport request. Whenever you will go for utilities, transport request, have you seen? I move to same to same time, to same to same program. This is our program. This is our program. RS transp. So have you seen the major advantage is we got the program name here by default. Previously, when we run this program independently, then we need to pass the program name. Now from SC38 screen itself, we pass the program name. Whenever you will go for variants, utilities, transport request, program name appears, you execute it. Now you can see same to same process. So it is not compulsory that you need to remember this program name also. You can go through SC38. Ultimately, it will navigate to that program only. If I will read the theory, what is the second way we did? We, we, we went to SC38 transaction code. We passed the program name. We simply clicked on to the variant button. This is our variant button. If I will go for back, we clicked on to the variant button. When we clicked on to the variant button, one screen appears having program name and variant. We simply clicked on to utilities, transport request. And after that, ultimately, it navigates us to what this program only. Then we followed the same to same steps, which is mentioned in the previous slide. So ultimately, it is totally your wish how you want to do it. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we studied how we can add the variants to the transport request. Yes, many times customers, especially in background jobs, customer ask for the variants also to go to quality and production. At that time, we need to add the variants to the transport request. So whenever you will create a variant, system will not ask for the transport request. You need to follow the dedicated steps. So you can go for this SAP standard program. It is very easy to remember this program name, report selection transport. Whenever you will run this program, pass the program name and you can go for passing the variant or you can go for all variants also. It is totally your wish system will prompt for the transport request, you can save in the transport request. But a second way, go through SC38 itself, click on to the variant button. We have utilities transport request and ultimately it will navigate to this program only. But keep one point in mind, if your program is local, you cannot transport the variants of that particular program. Firstly, program should go. After that only you can go for the variants of the same. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.